All right, here we are with uh, a look at the unboxing of another game from Tactical Strategy. This one is Grunewald 1410, or as uh, we in the West like to know or tend to know it as uh, Tannenberg Forest. This is the box cover, and if you can't tell with the black and white cross markings, it is a Teutonic's Night battle against, I believe. That is a Lithuanian knight there. And we have a Tartar swordsman there, it looks like. And here's the magazine, and I or the game company. And I believe that is the insignia of the official Grunwald uh, Historical uh, Society, or Preservation Society, or whatever you want to call it. And I believe this game is an official product sanctioned by the Grunwald historical committee so that's the board or the box and here we have the rule book obviously it's completely in Polish although you can get the English version and let's take a look at it a little bit it's your typical rule book it's got a lot of Nice diagrams dealing with charges and cavalry turning. Grunwald uh, was pretty much a, a massive cavalry slugfest. So, very little infantry, very little archers, very little bombardiers. The majority of the units were cavalry. I think the Teutonic Knights had like 50,000. And on their side, and the Polish, Lithuanians, and Tartars had like 70,000 or something, something crazy like that. There's a nice little picture of a Teutonic Knights in charge. Uh, yep, there we go. So that's the rule book. Take a look at some of the counters. These are the Polish counters. Wait for the camera to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Um, kind of see heavy cavalry. The two shields indicate it's a heavy cavalry. One shield indicates medium cavalry. Uh, you got a few different cavalry poses. Big mix of heavy and light cav, I mean heavy and medium cavalry. And as you can see, uh, many of the counters <laughs> end up falling off the sprues by the time they get to me. So, and then here we have the Teutonic units, as obvious by the Teutonic shield. And that's heavy cavalry, medium cavalry. Cavalry, 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 cavalry. There's some light cavalry. You can tell because it has no... Oh, no, that's medium cavalry. It's got a shield on it. More, much more counters that have fallen off the sprues. And we have some Lithuanian units. Again, just sheer, sheer amounts of cavalry in this game. I mean, if you haven't noticed, we haven't come across really any or very many infantry units yet. There's some more Lithuanians. Ah, oh, and then there's the Tartars in green. Now they've got, uh, I think, pretty much the only light cavalry. They're horse archers. You see a horse archer right there. Oh, there's some Lithuanian crossbowmen. And then more Polish. This looks like Polish infantry. Polish crossbowmen, Polish bowmen. Here we have some leader counters. And we uh, have some bomb, bomb, yeah, bombards. Early artillery. There's some the Teutonic Knight leaders. And then some Teutonic Knight infantry, bowmen, regular footmen, and so on. So, and then we got, uh, we got a couple sheets of these. These are virtually identical. And these are basically the uh, charge factor counters. Whenever a cavalry unit uh, builds up a charge, 
to uh, to attack somebody, uh, you put one of these down for how many charge factors it's built up. Basically, build one charge factor per hex. And uh, again, these are all mostly the same as well. Uh, basically, disrupted, panicked markers. Cut those out. We got those. So let's go ahead and move this. And take a look at the battlefield itself and the map. Over here, there is a track for keeping track of morale. Basically, every time a unit is destroyed, you shift the morale marker up one in your favor. And if it ever gets to one or twos, those are actually combat modifiers that your entire for your entire army gets. So morale can swing back and forth as units are destroyed. There's the turn marker there. And basically, we've got the uh, Teutonic Knight setup area here. A bunch of swamps right there. Never want to fight with your back in the swamps. And some more swamps over here. And we have the Polish, Lithuanian, and Tartar setup area down here. We've got a little village right there. Some wood patches. So yeah, that is a look at Grunewald 1410 from Strategy and Tactics.